everyone, my name is Elena and welcome to my channel. Um, so today we are going to be reacting to Le Seraphim's Fearless music video, which is their debut music video. Um, and I'm really excited because they have announced on their pre-show that they're the ones who have the storyline for um, Crimson Heart, which is a webtoon. So they are probably part of the Hive universe. Uh, they're gonna have a storyline. I'm very excited. From their albums, what I saw, like there's a whole, there's a mermaid concept and then like a car concept. Um, and the idea is, of course, that they're fearless. They will go, you know, uh, you can't steal their voice, which is obviously like a play on like the Little Mermaid, for example. So that's that's nice. That's exciting. And this is finally a girl group again that is under Hybe. Hopefully this is the start of something fun and interesting. I, I don't know what to expect because when I was watching the teasers, it kind of feels like it's more like cool and showy because it's their debut, right? Um, TXT had the same thing, they kind of had a more showy music video, but it does end up tying into their storyline. And then Enhypen um, had a very storyline driven debut music video. So I don't really know what to expect on that front, um, but I do think they have a song called Blue Flame, which is apparently like the like theme song for Crimson Heart. So that has to do with the blue fireflies, which they showed us, which kind of look more like Will of the Wisps. But that's like not this song. This song is Fearless, which is the title track. I'm nervous. Can you see? Can you tell? A new group debuting, new stuff to go into. I'm I'm very excited. Without further ado, let's just go. Oh, starting right with the dance practice. Like shot style. Wow, yes. Crown. <laughs> Blue hour. <laughs> Looks like the stairway to heaven, you know? Ooh, the Seraphim Fearless. Wow! Yes, there's those motorcycles! That is so cool. The, um, cat ear thing makes me think of the anime Durarara. Ooh! Okay, so this feels like more of a showy music video to introduce them. Oh, I love that. I know that was in preview a little bit, but I like the way they shot that. Yes! Oh my gosh. Oh, Jaewon. Okay, Yoonjin getting it. Yes! She is so cool. I love the car. It's like hanging because they're fearless, right? It's like hanging by like literally a thread. Ooh. The mature look kind of really suits Sakura too uh, when they like bring her in. I'm like, wow. Oh, dang. That's dangerous, girl. <laughs> but I guess they're fearless. <laughs> This, this music video needs to come with a disclaimer, like, don't do what they're doing. Damn! Get ready my paycheck! Oh, dang! Yo! Do you think I'm fragile? Wait. Okay, I'm doesn't have an apostrophe and I'm fearless didn't have an apostrophe either because it was part of an anagram that made Le Seraphim. So part of me is wondering if like I'm fragile again is also an anagram or maybe the whole sentence is an anagram. I don't know, very interesting. They, they just that little hint at the end. <laughs> wait, okay, wait, let's watch it again because they're, they look so good. They look so good. Their dance moves are fantastic. They are so synchronized. They make it look so easy. Oh, the change. They did th They did this music video. It looks very simple and clean, but it's done so well. And the editing is like top notch, you know? Oh, Sakura. Oh, dang. That was Unche, right? Oh my gosh. I really like Unche, like her whole look. She's extra. This go viral, this go viral. 
Oh, oh my god. They killed it! So, so, so good! No cap. So beautiful, seriously. <laughs> oh, Unche! I'm using the wrong hand, aren't I? It's this way. <laughs> Oh my god, this part! Dang! Okay, this is interesting. This part. There's like... I think they're gargoyles? This kind of looks like this is like a knee or something. And then that's the head, so it's like it's like a person sitting. But I guess it could be like a gargoyle, um, and it has like the wings. Is it like it's a guardian? It's guarding them? Is that, that's what gargoyles are supposed to do, right? Guard? things. I feel like this is symbolic for something that we haven't seen. They, like I said, they went with the, like, mermaid theme, and it does make me think a little bit of, like, Grimm's fairy tales type thing. Not in the same way that TXT have the fairy tales. Like, it's very, like, kings and queens feeling, like, they're coming from a fairy tale, but also the, like, living on the edge and they're, like, being watched over. I don't know, this could also be, like, a guardian angel. I it can't- I don't think there's a, sh a scene where it shows it. it. It could be an angel. I can't tell if it's supposed to be a gargoyle or a person. <laughs> I just find it very interesting. It's, like, gothic decor. Oh my god, Yunjin. That part gets me every time. Look at her! By the way, I don't have a bias yet. I haven't picked one, so don't ask me. <laughs> I don't know what it is yet. Um, next time I react to them, I'll let you guys know. La Seraphim. The little glitch does get me on their, um, do you think I'm fragile? No. I mean... You were hanging off of, like, you were sitting on a car. I'm trying to understand the, like, why are they in a workout room, you know what I mean? Is it because, like, it's traditionally masculine to, like, work out? I don't know. But they're very feminine at the same time. I don't know, that, that, I don't know if that's right or not. This is a very listenable song. I'm gonna have to look at the Blue Flame performance. Um, I'm gonna put that reaction on my Patreon. If my scarring is a part of me... Okay, I'm just gonna quickly rewatch it because I realized I haven't been looking too close at the lyrics, so I want to do that really quickly. <laughs> I literally did not even realize she says new bitch. That's crazy! Okay, and um, the latter feels like very representative because they're talking about how they want to reach the top. Uh, it's very representative of their like ambitions. I love that. So they're like climbing the ladder, they're climbing the ladder, they are gonna go far. They're got no fear because it's high in the sky as well. I feel like it's supposed to be challenging like what people think people are supposed to act as. And like how ambition for them is not a bad thing. I love that they use the word highway because it has so many different meanings because you can go high. You know, like obviously there's the regular highway that you drive on, but then also you're going highway, you're going up like to the highway because you're climbing up the ladder. I don't know. I feel like that's like word, like fun wordplay that they chose um, that matches with several of the other lyrics and the like imagery in the music video. My scarring is a part of me. So it's like, yeah, we might fall off and get hurt, but it's okay. It's a... Uh, a part of what makes me stronger. I like that. They're, I love this because they're like, this is their debut. This is their debut. And they're like, we are going to the top. Ah! I love this! Oh my god! Okay, I'm excited. New stuff. There's not so much in this music video, but uh, the girls look amazing. I'm loving the message. There is that little at the end, like, do you think I'm fragile? This feels like it could be another anagram. Or anagram's gonna be like, their thing. Cause Le Seraphim is I'm fearless. And then this says I'm fragile, but again, no apostrophe, same as like when they wrote I'm fearless. Uh, anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed my reaction. Um, I'm really excited to see what they're going to come up with. Again, like I said, they have been confirmed for being Crimson Heart, so I'm going to continue to cover La Seraphim as things happen. Uh, so yeah, 
If you did like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future content from me that will be La Seraphim, but also anything else from High related to stories and stuff like that. Um, all of my social media is in the description below, so make sure you follow me there. And of course, my Discord server is there as well, which you guys can join, have fun chatting about things, freaking out about idols theorizing. And I do want to give a shout out to my patrons over on Patreon. Thank you guys so much for your support. As it is, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay sunny, everyone. Bye!